Great. Hi, everyone. My name is Sam Manning, and I'm a research manager at Y Combinator Research, or YCR. Um, we're a nonprofit research lab based in Oakland, California. Today, I'm going to talk to you briefly about uh, the idea of a basic income guarantee and what we're doing at YCR to try to understand the impacts of giving people $1,000 a month with no strings attached. As I said, YCR is a nonprofit research organization established by Y Combinator, a Silicon Valley startup accelerator whose alumni include tech companies like Airbnb and Dropbox and many others. Um, YC president through Sam Altman, through his work with Y Combinator, was seeing firsthand how companies are increasingly able to produce far more with far fewer workers. At the same time, income inequality has been rising steadily in the U.S. in recent years. Uh, the United States has experienced strong economic growth, but the benefits are concentrated among the highest earners. Today, the top 10% income earners earn more, more than the bottom 90%. These trends uh, clearly have widespread consequences. The existing social safety net in the U.S. only cuts poverty in half, leaving more than 40 million people in the U.S. below the poverty line, which for a single person household is just a little bit over $12,000 a year. So the question for today is how will governments and civil society respond to these trends and predictions for the future? Some potential pathways include regulation, particularly, particularly around automation and technological change, um, while another may uh, include revisions to our social safety net. One bold solution that's been increasing uh, in buzz recently in the media and academic community and among policymakers is the idea of a universal basic income. So this idea would guarantee a minimum level of economic security to every individual by distributing a regular income supplement, um, giving people cash sufficient to meet one's basic needs. A true UBI would follow three principles. It would be universal, i.e. everyone would receive it and there would be no eligibility requirements. It would be unconditional, so recipients don't need to do anything to receive it and they could do with it what they wanted um, and it would be dispersed at the individual level for a set amount at regular intervals. This is not a new idea. Uh, Thomas Paine in the 1790s called for a citizen's dividend, a payment made to all US citizens funded by a property tax while later President Richard Nixon favored experimentation with a negative income tax. Uh, in his book, Where Do We Go From Here? Chaos or Community, Martin Luther King suggested implementing a basic income when he said, uh, I'm now convinced that the simplest approach will prove to be the most effective. The solution to poverty is to abolish it directly by a widely discussed measure, a guaranteed income. And just quickly, that other picture is Andrew Yang, who's running for president uh, this in 2020 on a basic income platform. So it seems clear that there's potential that a basic income could have uh, positive impacts on a wide range of outcomes. Could end poverty as it's currently defined, uh, provide economic security, spark entrepreneurship, etc. Uh, what we're trying to do at YCR is bridge the gap between social and economic analyses to create a comprehensive understanding of individual and household effects of a basic income. So we designed a study that's gonna take place in two US states. Uh, we'll have about 3,000 participants, or we, we will have 3,000 participants. Um, and in order to be eligible, one must be between the ages of 21 and 40, and their household income must not exceed 300% of the federal poverty level. The study itself is a randomized control trial. So we're essentially flipping a coin to assign a, random, a randomly assigned a treatment where to a group of 1,000 people who will receive $1,000 a month for three years, while the control group of 2,000 people will receive $50 a month for three years. We'll take a multi-pronged approach to our research. We have a number of economists on our team, so we'll primarily be doing quantitative research with uh, defined narrow research questions, specific measurable outcomes, and we'll use data from surveys, financial transaction data, and administrative data to measure those. But then we'll also be complementing that research um, with in-depth interviews, trying to get at the complex pathways through which some of those 
quantitatively measured outcomes um, have been brought about by basic income. Obviously, there are lots of different outcomes that we were interested in looking into. So before we uh, set out on this idea of trying to measure this, we talked a lot with policymakers, exchanged ideas with community members, potential beneficiaries, and other academics to try to um, hone in on the specific outcomes that we wanted to look at. In the end, we still wanted to look at, at everything, of course, but um, have, uh, you know, have constraints and uh, settled on a number of specific outcome families, including subjective and material well-being, financial health, time use, um, children's outcomes, social effects, and civil en civic engagement, and, and others. Um, specific to this event, we'll be looking uh, at outcomes related to housing and homelessness, um, including housing stability, housing quality index, a neighborhood quality index, um, and others. We'll be looking at um, participants' mortgage and rent payments, um, how, how expensive their housing is, um, utility bill delinquency, evictions, um, the composition of one's household. So are they moving in with others? Do they have more or less roommates, et cetera? And we'll be trying to build a financial hardship index as well. Uh, up to this point, we've been doing a lot of practicing, trying to get our systems in place, test out our research instruments. We did a feasibility study with six participants um, a few years ago, and we just finished up an operational pilot uh, where we were able to iron out all of our operational issues and refine our research instruments. Uh, and looking forward, we're excited to launch a large-scale randomized control trial uh, to measure the impacts of a basic income guarantee uh, later this year. So that was a rapid presentation of some of the things we're doing to measure uh, a basic income guarantee at the individual level. Um, like I said, I work at Y Combinator Research, and if you have any other, so any other questions, feel free to um, just Google our website and you can read our research proposal there, or feel free to reach out to me at this email um, anytime.